Has this ever happened to you? A fire? A flood? Bruh. Maybe a thunderstorm? Well, it already happened to me. I just lost my house. I have a question. Go to God. Why? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Hello, my fellow emergency people. Um, I kind of lost my house to a fire, but but I have prepared for occasions like this. I have made my very own emergency disaster kit. So let us do a video on what's in my bag. Okay, so this is my bag. I'm still in a forest, definitely not my house. I, I just need to show you guys my stuff. So this is my backpack. I'm using for the emergency kit here. And first of all, the first pocket is my very good old first aid kit, which includes things such as let's see here. So it's this stuff right here. So I have gloves here. Preferably it's non-latex, but I don't have non-latex. Um, I also have gauze. I have gauze right here, I have a thermometer, I have band-aids right here just in case, I got some cotton balls, so I got some iodine right here, some alcohol pads right here, some uh, medical tape, and I got some, I got some antibacterial cream right here, I got, and I got some scissors, medical scissors, and I got some tweezers and a cold pack in here as well. So this is just in case of any medical emergencies, I won't be able to get infection, I'll be able to wrap up any sort of uh, wound, um, wounds and things like that. So I'm just gonna put this here, bring it back. And also I have rubbing alcohol right here for hygiene and to keep myself sanitized. I also have hand sanitizer right here. Just down here. And then I also have a hygiene kit, which includes my toothbrush, my deodorant, and toothpaste so that my teeth don't become disgusting during the 24 hours. I know it's just 24 hours, but it's just there just in case. And then I also have disinfectant wipes for also more hygiene. And then I have here a notebook and pen. So I believe a notebook and pen is very important because I can use it to communicate and take important notes when I'm talking to someone such as taking directions and things like that. And um, it can also be used to draw and sketch, maybe make a map or plan and or make a plan and make schedules. So for this pocket right here, I got my phone and my portable phone battery pack. So my phone I'll keep on on my person, but for this one right here, I'll keep it in case for uh, emergencies and to charge my phone for calling or for making a social media post about where my life has gone to, which is an emergency. So I'm putting this back here. So in this pocket right here, I got my medications. Because I have a nut allergy, I need my EpiPen and my Benadryl in case I'm allergic reaction, in case I eat a nut out there. I might have anaphylaxis and I may have a, a fatal allergic reaction, so I need my EpiPen. And then right here, I also have my other medications that I might need. I have uh, Tylenol, Naproxen, and NyQuil for pain, fever, flu, and the cold. And then I got baby wipes right here. Instead of toilet paper, because I think baby wipes are easier to use and they're easier to dispose of. And then I got enough food to last with me for 24 hours or one day. I got myself three water bottles. Three water bottles. And then I got I got some canned food and I got some biscuits. So I got some pears because I like pears. I think they're tasty. I got some chicken for the bulking during the emergency. I gotta stay strong. And then, I got chicken noodle soup. Yum. And then, my Belvita. Belvita are tasty, and they're not perishable, they're pretty, and they are pretty com uh, calorie compact. Okay, next I got 
I got a box cutter or a survival knife right here, which can be used for many things such as uh, preparing food, lighting a fire, opening your supplies. You can use it for like self-defense in case someone's going after you. There's digging, there's uh, cutting your clothing and cutting your tape. And then I got a flashlight in case it gets really, really dark um, and I need my light. <laughs> and then finally, for this pocket, I have trash bags. So I, I think trash bags are pretty valuable because they could be used for hygiene, for disposing of like your baby wipes or all your waste. And they could even be used for organizing your things or they could use to protect me from water because you can make your poncho out of this if I use this knife to cut out some holes and then I can make myself a small poncho. And you can even use it for shelter as a for your head. Finally in this pocket right here, I got three things. So I got duct tape. Duct tape can be used for many things such as repairing your equipment, your clothing, your bags. It can also be used to make a splint or a, a splint or a sling with branches. It can also be used to close up wounds if really needed if you don't have any gauze or anything like that. It can be used to prepare your shelters. And it can even be used with a duct tape rope by braiding uh, a bunch of uh, duct tape strips together. And then right here, there's also a poncho, an extra poncho, and just in case for the rain, because it's really bad if you get wet, wet during uh, during the outside, you might get become sick. And then I got matches right here. So matches can be used for warmth, so trying to stay warm, and then it can also be used to cook your food. And if needed, it can be used to communicate and uh, try to signal for rescue okay so I'm, I was carrying one more bag with me and this bag only contains three things a sleeping bag a one day's worth change of clothes and then towels so I have towels right here so I have in this zipper right here I got towels in case I uh, in case for drying myself if I get really cold uh, not cold, wet and it can be used as an additional blanket if I get cold that's what I mean. And then right here, in this pocket right here, I got my 24 hour change of clothes in here. So I got clothes right here. So these clothes are used if I am really wet or I get really dirty, I can use it to change. Or if I just feel like a fashion, I have fashion preferences for that certain day, I will change my clothes. Okay, and then finally, in this huge thing down here, I got my sleeping bag. So this is a big boy, big sleeping bag. So I got my sleeping bag here because I feel uh, because I need it to be comfortable when I'm sleeping and it can be used to prevent, uh, prevent hypothermia when you're outside. I just need my beauty sleep. I need my beauty sleep because I am the nursing program and I hope you understand. Thank you. Finally, I have created a family emergency communication plan so that my family will know what to do, how to find each other, and how to communicate during an emergency. Alright, that's it. That is my what's in my bag video. I hope you guys like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I, maybe your friends can be my friends because I am very lonely out here in the cold. Anyway, I gotta go. I think... I think there's a bear right over there looking at me. I'm very scared. Wait, why are you coming closer? Why are you coming closer? Why are you coming closer? Stop! Stop! Stop!